Hey, welcome back to an episode of Instagram Podcast. I'm your host, Juan. As always, my co-host here with me. Hey, Trip. What up, gangsta? How are you? Good. How are you, man? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. Something weird happened last week. I don't remember what it was. Can you remind me what you were, uh, what were you making sure happened? Time travel. That's what happened. I, oh, okay. You know, I fell on a walnut and I traveled back in time and then Kate had to save my butt. By the way, first off, thanks a lot, Kate. I really appreciate whenever you come on the pod. And it also gives me a really dope episode to listen to. I love listening to you guys talk back and forth. You guys are obviously better friends than you and I. I should just not even be a part of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, you shouldn't be a part of the podcast. You should be a co-host on the podcast, which I think you're killing it, dude. You should absolutely do that. I don't want you to be should, a part of it, though. I should absolutely be the co-host. That'd be sick. Yeah, that'd hey, be this, week, this week we're talking about season two of Be the Beginning. <laughs> Begrudgingly, we got through it. Uh, we're going to make it extra short for mm-hmm. a review. Um, sorry. <laughs> It's I'm not, not worth it. Fuck that you know show. what? You could go back and listen to season one's review from three years ago, and then you could come to this one and go, "Oh yeah, it's not worth it." I, <laughs> like I, I almost went back so and listened to that episode just to kind of think about, like, huh, I wonder what my thoughts were about that first season. And then after finally slogging through the, the, these six episodes, I was like, you know what? I don't fucking care what I thought about season one. I know how I feel about season two. It doesn't matter. They're totally separate. I mean, that's mm-hmm. how. You gotta treat "Be the Beginning" like the "Promise Neverland." Is what I say. Oh yeah, dude, it's the "Promise Neverland" effect. Um, Sucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna go ahead and let you tell me what you've been up to. Okay, because uh, it's been two weeks. It's been a it big has. two weeks for you. It has, even though it has been um, two weeks. Uh, my list isn't surprisingly as long as your list. Doesn't need to be. Mine are all within the same like day. Which, yeah, which is ugh. interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. I, I did take, you know, the pod off last week, and I think I took the pod off the week, I mean, the same last week of my term last time. It's, it's kind of just kind oh, of happened. It's been like a okay. motif. Like, the last time Kate was on the pod, I was also behind with work. Get ready, Kate. You got some time, though, for the next one. <laughs> yeah, so um, I just, my class was wrapping up, uh, and for people who know, like, I this, this is my second time taking the same class, because I failed the first time, which felt really bad, but hey, it's fair. Um... But I had told you, I think, maybe Thursday, like the week before, I was like, hey, man, I don't I don't think I do the pod. I just really need to focus on school and hopefully pass this class. And you're like, yeah, for sure. We'll get Kate in on it. No big deal. Um, and I was like, I felt good. I was like, cool. I think that was a good decision. You know, good job, Juan. And then, you know, Sunday came around and I got my, I got like a critique again. And I thought we were going to be given like, an idea on like where we stood but we didn't so essentially we got more critique it's like cool and then he said tuesday we'll let you know where you guys stand i was like fuck so i busted my ass sunday monday and then even tuesday then i turned it in and then we had a one-on-one and he's like hey man essentially like your shop boils down into one side one half it's good the other half's not that great if you know guys if i had to grade you right now i would i wouldn't ha- i'd have to not pass you and i was like fuck which is like the not the thing i wanted to hear and he's like cool so he, he gave me more critique and then he said I'll give you until Saturday evening. Like, that's the last day to turn it in, and I'll grade it for you. And I was like, okay, cool, awesome. So I had, you know, made, a, like, a battle plan on what I was going to do and all that yeah. stuff. And I was like, great. So Wednesday I worked. Thursday um, I woke up to an email saying, hey, this from my teacher saying, hey, the school actually won't allow me to wait until Saturday evening. You need to turn this in t- today at midnight. And so then Thursday was fucking crazy stressful. Was it Thursday? Wednesday? I can't remember what day it was. It might have been Wednesday. <laughs> but I was like, it was Thursday. I was like, oh, my fucking God. So I busted my ass to turn it in. And then I didn't hear anything um, until sa- Sunday night, Saturday night. And the email I got on Saturday night was from him saying like, hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Um, but I'm just waiting from the school to see what they say. I'll let you know when I find out what they say. So I was like, cool. So then I was still waiting. And it wasn't until Monday morning I got a email from my teachers letting me know hey you passed congratulations um and and then the second that you sent me that i I was like i have to fucking facetime him uh, like right away (laughs) it was it was really bad like um that that week especially those last few days like i was really stressed um like i wasn't sleeping right all i could think about was like animating um i wasn't i didn't have an appetite like i would eat a eat because i knew i was supposed to like sierra would make dinner and i'd try to eat as much as i could and then I just couldn't eat anymore and I had to like save my meal and then try to eat it later at night. 
Um, Dude. Because ah. I just, like, ha- I was like, I can't do it. I was, you know, and then, like, I was talking, I mean, we were talking about it, and, like, I was getting a lot of, like, anxiety and stuff, and that was it. It's, like, it's not a thing that I'm used to, so, like, it took me a bit to realize, like, what is this weird feeling in my body? And you're like, oh, dude, that's that's cri- that's crippling anxiety. Don't worry about yeah. it. Like, and I was like, oh. Oh, dude, that's hella normal for people sick. that have fucked up brains. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, cool, super dope. This shit's, yeah. this shit's great. It's horrible. When you told me, you were like, ah, so, yeah, I learned what anxiety's like. I'm like, oh, yeah. fucking sucks, right? Would, it's the worst. <laughs> would, not, would not do again. Never. Um, but... Yeah, so I think, I don't know what day it was. I think it was, like, maybe Wednesday. I told Sierra, like, hey, I'm not, like, feeling that good or whatever. Like, you know, it, it had started. And then she's like, okay, cool. I was like, do you want me to go get you, like, something to eat and, like, something to drink? Like, something light to eat, you know? And she went to T-Bar and, like, got me a salad. And she came back and she's like, and she also got me, like, a big-ass slice of chocolate cake. <laughs> and I was like. Hey, just in case. One or the other, man. <laughs> it was so funny. I was just like, is that, did you. Because she had got herself because like, did you get cake? She's like, yeah, I also got you a slice. Like, you know, because for your upset stomach. And I was like, hmm, thank you. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't eat it for like two days or whatever. But I was like, I was like, I, I don't know if I could touch this. She thought she was so funny. She's just like, yeah, because you're because you know because your your stomach hurts. I thought you know some chocolate cake would make you feel better. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I okay. So now that I've passed the class, I've I've been talking to you about this um, before, but I had made the decision whether I passed or not. Like I was going to take a break from my next term. Um, people, some people know that my my sister is you know due, and she asked me to help at the re- the family restaurant like while she's on maternity leave. So I was like, you know what? I said I would because like I'm not going to leave them hanging yeah. like that. And then the more I thought about, it, I was like, you know what? Like I would hate to take my class and have to work at the family restaurant and like it that be any any kind of reason why like I don't pass again in other class. It's like, no, I'd like to focus on the thing 100%. So I'm like, I had already come to terms with like whether I fail or not, I'm just going to take the break. And so knowing I pass makes you feel a lot better. It's like, cool, I'm still trending in the right direction. Still and, like, taking the break and yeah, this time it break. feels more earned, right? Yeah, yeah. So so this these next three months, you know, I will be working at my family restaurant, but I will also like not have to be doing school um, I will still, I still plan on doing like animations and stuff and like watching videos and like reading books and stuff to hopefully like keep on it and improve in these three months. But I guess the added pressure of like there being like a assignment and then a due date and then like, you know, like crunch, um, it feels really good to not have. So yeah, that was good. And I already said thanks to Kate again. Thanks Kate. Really appreciate you coming through. Um, but she doesn't listen to the podcast. So fuck her. Cause she yeah, didn't fuck it. <laughs> she doesn't yet. She doesn't yet. But when, uh, the last episode of attack on Titan airs, she's going to like binge the podcast, I guess. Sorry, Kate. I didn't I mean know. that. I, uh, <laughs> I really do appreciate you. And I fucking love that. She has like a great mic. It's just the audio. Yeah, is so it just clean. works out, man. It's fantastic. Yeah. So shout outs to Abe's podcast, whatever it's called. Uh, not going to be in the comments or anything. Don't worry about it uh let's see so that's it that's that's why i was gone i'm glad to be back it's nice to like to hang out and see you and stuff but like i said i really do enjoy when you guys talk because you know i get to hear it's just it's a different thing it feels different but it's nice like i'm like oh nice i'm hanging out with my boys my boys kate and trip i'm just sitting there while they're talking and i want to say stuff and i go you you guys are wrong that show's garbage you idiots fairy tales the best anime i've ever seen i don't know why you guys aren't talking about it is that really how you feel while you're watching it no i hate listening Mm -mm, because you (laughs) don't really watch it yeah, I do look at my phone, yeah. Um, okay, moving on. Today, I got my second COVID shot. Big. Yeah. Dude, congrats. You're fully vaccinated. You seem to have enough energy. Good luck tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Um, what's super funny is that the last time I got my shot, um, Sierra got her shot. This We had, you know, we had to go wait at like a, in a separate s- s- like section, and she was waiting for me. She's like, what took you so long? I was like, I don't know. Like, the lady just took a while to give me a shot. This time she was waiting again, and I had gone first. And she's like, "What the fuck happened, dude? This fucking guy giving me my shot would not shut up. He's just like, how are you? It's blah blah blah.' I was like, you know, doing like the pleasant. Like, good, I'm great. Like, here for my shot. And he's just like, okay. And he starts like chatting me up about like the the effects of it. And he's just like, how do you feel the last like for your first shot? I was like, I felt fine. You know, like I was tired the next day, and then 
I was okay. And he was just like, well, for this next shot, you, you know, you, it's going to be a little rougher. He goes, my wife took it. And she was out for like, you know, two days, you know, fever, you know, we just give her some Tylenol. She felt a lot better. It's like me, I was, I bounced back pretty quick. So, you know, for you, you know, bigger guy, stronger guy, younger guy, like you might, you know, it, you, you know, you might bounce back just a quick. I was like, dude, I'm like, it's like, dude, shut up. Just fucking put the thing in my arm. I want to leave, you know? And he's just kept talking. And then he, I had trip. I had taken off my vest and then rolled up my arm. So like, so he's like, I'm sitting there just waiting for him to give me a shot. And then he goes, is there like an arm preference that you would like? I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, fucking. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> no, I just do this when I sit down. I was like, put this shit in my arm. And I was like, yeah, can I just get it in this arm? And he's just like, okay, yeah, cool. And then he gets the wipey thing and starts wiping, you know, the, the sanitizing, you know, the uh -huh. area or whatever. And then he drops it. And then he's like looking down and I see him like, he's like looking around for it. And then he starts looking through my vest. And he's just like, he looks up, he goes like, I might've dropped the, the sanitizing wipey in your vest pocket. So you might find that later. And I go like, what is this? What is this guy's problem? Like, just put this thing in my fucking arm. And then like, he finally puts it on my arm and I just go, I'm just, I, I lay it off like a sigh relief, like, you know, cause I was like, it's done and, and he goes like are you okay did that hurt do i need to call someone i was like you're the nurse who would you call like i, I trip it was the worst feeling ever i was just like this is why people are getting vaccinated because you're taking fucking forever just put this shit in my arm and pull the trigger dude um yeah and, and so then i have to, then I have to walk up to sierra he's just, he's just waiting for me she's like what's going on I'm like i don't want to talk about it but my guy would not shut the fuck up like every he just kept talking to me You've been having um, but, some weird appointment experiences lately, I'm man. I'm not, yeah, I'm not really, I don't know what it is, but I'm not, like, super into it. I'm kind okay. of happy about it. That sounds crazy. I love it. It was so, and then, and then I'm sitting at the, in the waiting room, and I put my hand in my vest, and wouldn't you know it, there's, like, an alcohol little, like, wipe in my fucking vest. I'm like, this fucking guy. Dude's been huffing wipes. I'm telling you. Yeah. Something's uh, going on in that office. It's something, let's see, what else? Today, I made carne asada for dinner. Oof. shout outs to juan it was pretty good um you know i always have to you know call my parents to be like hey how do you do this and like what would you recommend i do you know with this salsa like stuff like that so yeah. it's nice to just kind of get a hold of them um <laughs> and yeah and and you know there are things that i think i could do better with like the way i cooked it and the way i prepared it and stuff but i'm like cool it's a learning experience i'll only hopefully do better the next time so it was fun yep. um i do always feel bad whenever i cook because I use like every pot we got, like every like I'm just like spoons and forks and like every like just to get everything. And then like the sink is like fucking piled like mountains high. And Sierra goes, "What do you do?" I was like, "Oh, I was just like making salsa or like I was preparing the meat for tomorrow. I hadn't even like this was yesterday. I made a fucking mess just making salsa and preparing the meat. And then today I made even more mess just cooking the meat. And I was like, I don't know how to cook without making a giant mess. See, that's <laughs> cooking. That's one of the hardest parts is the cleanup because. Some things require a lot. Yeah, and it sounds like know. all the dishes you're doing are like, ooh, I want to do this one specific thing. And there's a reason that a lot of like families will make mm -hmm. one pot meals, you know? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe Sierra does a good job of making everything in one pot. I don't. I'm like, cool, I need a spoon for that. I need a fucking pot for this. I need a Well, yeah, and that's the thing, though, is that like a lot of the time that's how it's done in like restaurants. That's how... Mm. You get certain flavors out of it, but then there's one pot meals that yeah you can are, just kind of put everything together. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Huh. You're just doing a little bit of this, put that to the side. Doing a little bit of this, put that to the side, and then mix two I, of I, these together in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I always feel bad about that because here because here really gets doesn't like like a full sink, and I go, well, you know, I'm bad at dishes, and I don't know how to put them in a dishwasher. It's so fucking hard. Like I don't know what you mean. I look, man. Now here's something. And my coworker Emily always tells me she's like, for some reason my husband is so particular about the way things are put in the dishwasher, but he always puts the cutlery like sharp side up, which mm -hmm. is a crazy thing, and you're not supposed to do it, and it also messes with the seal around the uh, dishwasher. So that's especially how you know that you're not supposed to do it. Anyways, he's very particular about it. And she's like, he says that I do it wrong. And I'm like, how do you do it wrong? That mm. doesn't make sense to me. Tell me, how do you put it away, I, which is apparently hard or wrong or whatever? I just, I don't think I'm very good at, like, efficiently using the space that's in the dishwasher when I put stuff in. Like, my brain goes, cool, like, I'll put this thing in here, and I'll put this thing in here, and then 
shit, it's full. Like, and there's still a sh- more stuff to put in there. And I go, okay, well then let me try, you know, move things around. And it's still just like, it just, there's never enough space. But Sierra fucking always knows how to put everything in there to make it work right. And I'm like, I don't get how she does it. Like my brain just doesn't work that way. But Sierra hates unloading the dishwasher. I'm like, I don't mind unloading the dishwasher. This shit's pretty easy. Loading the dishwasher is hard for me. Like it's just, I, it's like if it's Tetris, I just can't get past the first level. Like it's just like, it, my brain doesn't figure it out. Like there's times where I go, you know what? I know I have to run the dishwasher. Cause like, cause like <laughs> I have to do it and I'll do it. And I go and I pull it out and like, cool. I washed like four things. Like what a waste. I, I didn't even do this right. Hey man, think of it this way. If you're doing it that way and they're getting cleaned and they're not having any like residual water in the cups mm. or like bowls or whatever, you've put everything in the right direction. I'd say that's good to go, man. Just cause it takes a couple of runs. That's fine. All that the dishwasher is for is sanitizing. Anyways, your dishes should already be clean. And that's just like the final touch. Mm-hmm. So whatever you're, you're doing like barely any work in the dishwasher regardless. I'm just bad at it, dude. I wish it was better. I need to become a better dishwasher guy. Let's see hey, what man, else. When this whole pandemic's over, I'll come over there and we'll put them together. You know, it'll just be like, me. yeah, I'll stay behind you and I'll do like the, the pottery go. scene from Ghost. We'll be good. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to do like the, like the, you say, like, I'll put, like, I'll put it down and you go, no. No, nah, man. I go over, over here and you go, mm, We're doing this together. I play a lot of Tetris 99, Puyo Puyo Tetris, that kind of shit. And uh, yeah, I got this. You got this. Let's do this together. All right. Next thing. Tell me more. Next, tell me more. This actually is combined with after have, making carne asada. I got a call from my dad. Um, he called me over the phone. And I was like, hey. Well, actually, it was my mom's number. She called me. And I was oh. like, hey, dad. I was, you know, hey, mom. How's it going? And she's like, and it was my dad. And he goes, hey, man, what's your problem? <laughs> and I go, I go, what? He goes, what do you? He goes, what do you? I'm like, and, you know, sometimes I, sometimes I don't know with my dad. Like, because we always kind of joke around. I'm like, I'm like, nothing, dude. What the fuck's wrong with you? You know, <laughs> like, and he's like, he's like, you haven't called me in three months. And I go, yeah, but you haven't replied to any of my texts in like three months either. Like, what's so? I just figured we're just not talking, you know? Like, it's not a, <laughs> it's like whatever. Yeah, and the thing is, like, we do talk because whenever I call my mom, he's there, and like, he'll either chime in or he'll take the phone, and we'll talk through my mom's number, right? Like, but it's I'll he's never. He's allowed him. to call you. Yeah, exactly. And so he's like, he's like calling us like, like this bullshit, dude. It's like, it's like, I, what am I? Like, you just fucking dead dude. You don't, I don't, you don't fucking care. I was just like. Dad, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I, I'd send you texts and you don't reply. He's like, I don't care about texts. You gotta fucking call me. And I was like, okay. Well, now was, we know that. Thanks for yeah. telling me. And I was like, well, why can't you just reply to my text? And he's like, I don't have a single text from you. And it turns out that I was calling his old. I was texting his old uh. number, and he was, and he's just like, well, I don't have Juan's number to call him, so he wasn't calling. He was waiting for me to call him. I was just like, why don't you just get my number from mom? He's just like. That's not, I don't know how to do that. I need you to call me so I could call you back. I was like, this is fucking asinine. And my mom's in the background, like laughing. She's like, Juan, you really hurt his feelings. He's upset with you right now. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I have nothing to do with this. So, so I go, oh, you know what? I'm like, you know what? Hang up on me. I'll call you right now. He's like, okay. So I hung up and then I call him back. I was like, hey, is this your new number? He's like, yeah, cool. I'm sorry. I was calling your old number. What's up? And he goes, your salsa was too chunky. <laughs> like that's from from the talk from the tacos that I made. He's just like I was like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> it's nice to talk to you too. He's just like, all right, I gotta go. <laughs> I was like, all right, bye, Dad. Good talk. Yeah. So um, then I texted. I was like, I messaged. I was like, hey, I'm sorry. I was messaging you wrong numbers. Like, this is my number. Feel free to respond to my texts when I send them to you. And he just sent me like a thumbs up emoji. It's like, all right, cool. Nah, we're on the same page. But he was really mad. He's like, what the fuck's your problem, dude? I was just like what the fuck's your problem dude what are you talking about and i didn't know it was a deal because i was like i have been talking to him you know like he'll we'll talk on mom's phone i don't know what is I, he just i guess he felt he felt sad or some kind of way he's just like this guy this he goes this piece of shit i raised him his whole life and he doesn't even fucking call me fuck him what about your um, brother they talk all the time apparently how because <laughs> my brother has his number and he and so my dad called him back but he, i bet my i my dad didn't have my number. Well, it's because you're I the bad calling. son. I, yeah, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they, I guess they, they talk all the time, but he, I hadn't been messaging. I mean, I had been messaging him, Trip. They just weren't getting to him. Whack. <sighs> That's Anyways, all that is. Mad family drama. Uh, last thing. Uh, I watched the Justice League Snyder Cut on HBO. You had four hours to kill? 
Uh, well, I had two hours to kill one day and then two more hours to kill another day. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, I, I can't watch four hours of this. Well, I guess uh, they, because I haven't seen it yet, but they broke mm-hmm. it up to have like there's chapters. Parts. Yeah, yeah so it's pretty palatable if you had to take more time to watch it. Yeah. I think we stopped right for the first, it was right before part four. Like it, it kind of, part four starts right before the two hour mark. So that's where we kind of took a break. Um, here's was my biggest issue with the Snyder Cut, besides it being stupid long, um, was because I hadn't seen the original Justice League in so long, and because I didn't love it then, it was hard for me to remember, like, if things were new or not, you know? Like, I remember, like, certain scenes, and then I go, was, and there's scenes that happen, I go, was that in the first Justice League, or was that a reshoot, or, ah, I can't tell. Some I things mean, are absolutely, you, know. you can absolutely tell it's different. Like, you go, they completely cut out you know like um like plots or jokes or whatever and like okay cool gone um but yeah i mean for the most part like it's a more cohesive story there's like less plot holes there's still some really shitty dialogue sure. um and some pretty dumb just like kind of uh i don't know people jumping to conclusions i'm like we just have to do this and this will work it's just like why why is this some, that's not very sound logic but i guess you're a superhero so do whatever you want do whatever um, you want. But yeah, it was uh it was fine. I think if you're like if you're a huge like DC superhero fan, like yeah, absolutely watch the Snyder Cut. Like you'll probably get a good kick out of it because like, you know, that's kind of probably what you were hoping for in the beginning before, you know, you know, Zack Snyder left and then they brought Joss Joss Whedon, Whedon in or whatever. Um but if you're like a casual superhero person, I don't think you need to watch this, honestly. Like, it's not going to really... I don't think it's going to blow your mind, at, you know, if you already... Especially if you already saw the first one. You saw the first Justice League, right? The <laughs> No. No? <laughs> I fucking oh. hated the first okay. Superman movie. Yeah. And I was like, eh, well, we'll see what else happens. Didn't want to get involved with Christian Bale's Batman thing at all. Oh, not Christian jo- Bale. I mean, uh, ben fucking Affleck's. Ben Affleck. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, man, Christian Batman Bale did Superman. Yeah. Uh, but then I, I watched Wonder Woman and was like... Mm-hmm. That didn't do a thing for me, man. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted it to be cool, and I hated watching it. And (laughs) my favorite part was the... uh, The ending, when the credits started rolling? (laughs) No, it was the, I don't know, the British chick that helped out for, like, five minutes of the movie? Something like that? Uh, The one with... The nice British chick, like yeah, the, one the that was goofy like, one, the one that made yeah, good the one jokes that, and made me feel like this was all worth it for that five minutes. The but one the that's rest like, of it, I where do you hide your play. sword? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I didn't care about any of that. It just wasn't a good time. I didn't like it uh, personally. Personally, so, didn't do it for me. Fucking I checked out at that point. I was like, I watched two of them. I'm out. Uh, didn't want to see Aquaman. Didn't want to see uh, Batman versus Superman. Didn't want to see Justice Shazam. League. I liked Shazam a lot. You saw actually. Shazam? Shazam wow. was fucking good. I really I wanted to see Shazam, Shazam um, because it, it just had a very different tone to everything. Mm-hmm. They did a pretty good job with Shazam, but it was, again, just a cheesy superhero movie. Uh, so it's nothing to expect a whole lot from. Think, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, like, amount of jokes and seriousness combined, but then, like, not as good. Classic. Yeah. Classic marvel fanboy over here just sucking at the teat not being ready for some real fucking superhero stuff some dc stuff okay it's fine just because your palate can't handle higher forms of storytelling doesn't mean you can just like you know say it's bad punches yeah yeah exactly that's it i don't know i fucking care i don't even (laughs) like superhero shit that much but then i watched wandavision i was like oh this is like a pretty interesting take on a lot of things they're just like blowing me away and i just watched the new uh marvel show with the winter soldier falcon stuff going on i don't know anyways <laughs> it's called uh, it's called the falcon and the winter soldier but it has a different name i'm pretty sure it's just called falcon and the winter winter soldier it said a different name in the credits I'll look it up. i don't know <laughs> anyways the uh the first episode of that started watching it watched about 10 minutes and went oh this is just what i don't care about from marvel i'll get back to this later Two days later, I caught back up with it, and I was like, oh, this is all the stuff that I do like from Marvel that I got to see in WandaVision, where it was just, like, exploring how fucked up these characters are for different reasons. <laughs> so it, 
<laughs> so just your information, the show is called The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> it's, it's just what and it's then what's the thing that happened after the credits that told me a thing? I don't know. It's just that's what it says it's called. I ah, looked it, it up. It sucks. You should anyway, look that one up for me. Um I'm I'm more of a Marvel fan myself, but I was like, you know what? I like superheroes, I'll check it out. And yeah, like I said, if if you like DC and if you like, you know, those movies, check it out. Like obviously like you, it's probably for you. But if you're more like a casual person or whatever, don't waste four hours of your life on this. It's never mind. It was the uh it was the title of the episode that appeared at the end and it mm. had it in a way that looked like it was uh the, the title. Anyways. The title. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's that's it, man. That's all I have to do to say about myself. Um, I'm curious to hear what you've been up to because you sound like you've had a busy week. <sighs> Work sucks, dude. I'm so happy that I quit. Like, yeah. <laughs> all of the things that are happening uh, have just been so frustrating. But I've got it kind of layered in different ways. Anyways, <sighs> so every once in a while, people like to have problems with dogs. They like to either be upset that their neighbor has a dog or... Or be upset that their neighbor has a dog with the actual problems. You know, like it, it's mm -hmm. aggressive with people. It barks all the time. Things like that. And those are the situations that I'm like, ah, oh, man. Now I got to call this person and tell them to like make sure they get their dog in shape. And then after I do that, they're usually like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I totally understand. I'm going to do everything I can. And it's like a pretty good interaction. So uh, I think it was last week, early last week. We had uh, one dog push out of an apartment, knock down the baby gate that was there just in case the dog got out, and it went and it it attacked, in quotes, uh, another dog, the neighbor's dog. Uh, it just wanted to play. It was being friendly, yeah. and it stepped on the dog's paws, so there was a little bit of a, a wound on a the paw. Dog? Uh, no, they were about the same size. Okay. It was a German Shepherd and like a mixed dog. I don't know what it was, but just one was a little more hyperactive than the other one. Exactly. So it stepped on yeah. the other one's paw and it did bleed. So we had pictures of the dog's foot, which seemed weird that it was just the foot that was injured. But I was like, okay, well, if there was an actual issue, if uh, the dog did push out and attack, then I'll be able to know from a phone call to that person. And he did admit that his dog pushed past him, knocked through the baby gate, like everything was correct. And he's like, but my dog didn't attack the other dog. He didn't say that his dog was trying to play or anything. He just said, my dog didn't attack the other dog and mm -hmm. just left it that. And I'm like, all right, well, just a heads up. This is, by the way, a more sensitive situation because they aren't pets. These are emotional support animals. Right. So they are protected in different ways than pets are protected. We mm -hmm. could be a lot more harsh with pets and like how people take care of them, but with emotional support animals, it's some specific stuff that it's, it's easier touchy. to be hands off. So mm -hmm. both apartments have emotional support animal dogs. <sighs> Monday morning, I believe it was Monday morning. Uh <laughs> Emily got texted from her husband. Her husband works with the dude who had the dog that was, in quotes, attacked. Mm -hmm. And apparently there was an altercation the night before. So A physical altercation? <laughs> another, another problem with the dogs, you know? Okay. So what winds up happening is Tuesday morning, the woman from the apartment whose dog was uh, attacked comes in and says that the dog is still lunging at them. Their neighbor's dog is lunging at them. It's being really aggressive. And there's something that has to be done at this point. And I'm like, okay. I was busy in a meeting. I heard all of it, but I was busy in a meeting. I really don't want it to escalate to anything. It didn't exactly sound like the right story the first time. So I'm going to find out what our main office would do for the next step. And they're like... You give them three days to correct the actions or you evict them. And I'm like, I hate that. Fuck that. What the hell? Okay. So instead, <laughs> I had Emily call the guy and say, hey, Chris doesn't know about this yet, but this is what's going on. Uh, just wanted to keep you in the loop and get your side of the story. And he's like, can I come in and talk to Chris tonight about this whole thing? And she's like, sure thing. 
So we're just like, all right, let's pretend that I don't know anything about what's going on other than he's going to come in and talk to me about something, uh, which I can assume has to do with his neighbor because they've had some problems. He has video footage. Uh, dude is an ex-military guy, and he said he's very paranoid, and he likes to have constant video surveillance of outside he of his apartment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't care, dude. That's great. But let's see the video. And then he shows it to me. And his dog barks at their dog from, like, 20 yards away. Mm -hmm. And he tells his dog, stop. And then it barks again. And he says, stop. And they bring a second dog by. And they walk, like, close by and then into the distance away from it. And his dog barks a third time. And he says, that's it. And takes the dog inside. Mm -hmm. And that was it. That was the entire altercation. altercation that's all yeah, that it yeah. was. It was literally his dog barking at another dog. Because Which he was, was outside on the patio with the dog on a leash with a bark collar as well. So mm -hmm. he's like trying to work on the problem and make it so his dog seems less aggressive, even though nothing is actually wrong. And it's just dogs doing dog stuff. He's just a dog. This chick yeah. is trying to get this guy evicted for no fucking reason. And now I'm being put in the middle of it as a mediator of a he said, she said. Thank fucking God this guy had video footage because my management was just like. Tell him to do it or kick him out. And then, like, she would obviously... She's clearly lying. She's clearly harassing this dude. Mm -hmm. uh, she would say something, and he would be totally fucked in this situation if it weren't Emily and I taking care of it, you know? Yeah. Like, thankfully, both of us are like, mm, something seems a little bit wrong, despite all the evidence and everything I said specifically to my management upset me one of the reasons i'm leaving i can't handle those kinds of situations <laughs> it's not fucking worth it for me T today on my walk um an older lady had come out of her house like i could see her like down this, the path i was taking and she had got out of her, her house with her dog and i was like okay cool and she was like i said older and i was like oh, i'm just gonna keep walking and you know see if she can if she's gonna come walk towards us or away from us you know kind of thing because then i'll decide if i'm gonna cross the street and she was walking away from us. So I was like, we're all walking in the same direction. I was like, okay, cool. I can just keep walking and it's not a big deal. But then her dog was was like sniffing and like trying to. So she, I was catching up on her her, and, you know, I was walking Bella, like I said. And we're getting closer. And I was like, you know what? And she hasn't, she hasn't spotted me yet. The do Their dog hasn't spotted me yet. Bella's seen their dog. She's like, oh my God. Because Bella likes playing with dogs, like other dogs. I go, all right, starting across the street just to avoid the situation, you know, like for whatever reason like i would hate for my dog to you know want to play with her dog and you never and know it, you don't right, know exactly. other dogs yeah or like you know what if vella jumps on the lady just because she's like you know she's yeah. happy to see someone i was like i don't need her and to knock you know your lady. dog better than you know their exactly dog too their yeah dog. so it's so across the street and once i cross the street the lady notices us and she's just like oh hi how you doing oh what a beautiful dog it's like and i was like yeah but she's like I was like, yeah, thank you. You know, I'm still walking. She's like, oh, you want to come and play? I'm like, no. Like, I'm like, I just, you know, we're going on our walk. She's like, oh, is she not a friendly dog? Is she a mean dog? I was just like, no, I just don't want her to play with you right now. Like, you know, it's like, she's, we're just on our, we're walking, you know, and she's just like, <laughs> Well, I, she's like, I don't like mean dogs anyway. I was like, I'm like, no, fuck you, bitch. My dog should knock you over. Like, <laughs> I was like, that was sick. <laughs> yeah. And I was, I was like, oh, I can't just keep walking. I don't want to fucking see. So <laughs> then, and luckily, you know, I, I'm a normal, I mean, I'm a young human being. So I, you know, within seconds, I was down the block around the corner. I didn't have to see her anymore. I was, but I was like, God, this fucking bitch. I was like, I was doing you a fucking favor. God, fucking Bella, Bella, fuck beat the shit out of you and i was like people are the worst uh i was like my dog's not fucking bad she's not a good dog but she's not a bad dog <laughs> bella's a good dog she's just dumb <laughs> um continue your because you got plenty to tell me keep going tell me plenty. what else is going on so uh like i said i quit my job there are changes yes. to follow after quitting uh and i gave them a six-week notice so that i could train whoever is going to be replacing me uh, mm -hmm. and we hadn't heard anything until yesterday. Finally, last night, we got a fax in that said what all the changes are. So it's like, okay. what up, guys? As you know, there are a lot of changes at the company, and I'm like, very cool. Yep. We'll be able to do this, for sure. And we had a couple of guesses, because naturally, I'm leaving, so somebody in uh, the assistant manager position would probably move into a manager position, replace me, 
And then mm-hmm. somebody who's a leasing agent would possibly step up into the assistant manager position. And then we'll hire a new leasing agent. That's like right. what we thought was going on. That's so we get usual, the facts that's I'm a reading. MO, yeah. Yeah. And I see that there are five listed items on there. And I was immediately curious. So I'm reading it out loud and I'm like, the new manager of Villarisa will be Callie. And I'm like, okay, very cool. That's something we predicted. Cool. We were like, probably yeah. going to be Callie. This is dope. Whatever. Callie's been there a nice for a while, lady. Right? Yeah. She's been with she's the company older. for a couple years now. Uh, she's in her 30s. She's got a yeah. kid. She's got a good head on her shoulders. Cool. And I think she's going to handle shit well. Um, so I was like, cool. And then the next one was like, Pine Tree. And immediately I'm like... Well, Pine Tree wasn't part of this. It was Mission Ranch of Villa Risa. Like, I knew specifically the two properties, what was going on. Hmm. Uh, (laughs) So I read Pine Tree. A leasing agent is taking the manager's position. And I'm sitting there like, whoa, then where the fuck is he going? And that's a huge jump. She's only been with the company for like nine months. She hasn't been around that long. And she's getting... Leasing agent, the lowest position to manager, the highest office position right away. This is fucking crazy. So we're all losing our minds. And the next one is uh, the new assistant manager at Oak Meadow is the old pine tree manager. And we're like, he got demoted. Demoted. He got a fucking demotion. (laughs) What the hell is going on? And this guy's had all kinds of problems. But our company is not willing to demote people. They're not willing to fire people. They're so, like, weird about reprimanding people for doing poor work, for causing problems. I don't understand. And he got fucking demoted. So we're sitting there like, oh, shit, what? I wonder if he knew. I wonder if he requested this. Uh, What's going on? (laughs) So leasing agent got bumped up to manager. And then that manager got dumped down to assistant manager? That's correct, sir. Okay, I don't... We don't have to name names, but... The, the guy that got bumped down, is that the dude that wanted a lock on his door? Uh, yes, yeah, the dude that wanted a lock on his office door for no reason. It's the guy right, that okay. caused problems for Emily for two mm-hmm. years. Right. Emily was essentially running the property and was told from our, our general manager, we know that you're the only one out here keeping it together and doing all the work. But we just need you to stick it out through the summer, and then we'll make sure to send you over to Villarisa and help out Chris. And, and I'm like, and the leasing agent the that got bumped up. Yeah. Is that... Is that Khadijah? No, it's uh, it's April. Oh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, April's been killing it. She's awesome. Uh, she's, That's a huge leap, though. Yeah, but wow. she is very fit for the role. I was so stoked about that because mm-hmm. I'm like, we thought she was going to move into the assistant manager at Mission Ranch, which we haven't even gotten to that one yet. Oh, right. Since, right sorry. Yeah, that, that one got replaced. So another guy is being transferred from Oak Meadow to Mission Ranch, mm-hmm. and that dude has i mean he's a lazy person he is lazy and every single leasing agent that works out at that property comes back to mine and they complain about him non-stop for being lazy and not doing anything and not handling a thing when they're in the office uh they say i don't know how he has this job i don't know what's happening so they put him over at mission ranch to work with my old boss kate and kate fucking she is very particular she is very on top of stuff she makes sure people know exactly what they're doing and she holds people accountable so for me working under her it was really good she didn't have to really tell me anything and anything that i struggled with instead of making the mistake or like not doing it until she got upset i just go hey you know how to take care of this particular weird thing and she goes yeah i'll help you out very helpful boss, just very uh, on top of stuff, and probably honestly does more work and makes more work that shouldn't have to happen. So this dude who's lazy and doesn't do anything is now going to be forced to do a lot of stuff and get on his fucking game, or is this a, or is he's getting out of agent, here. I don't know. Is a leasing agent turning into assistant manager? This or is an assistant manager? Yeah, just this being is an moved. assistant okay. who has been an assistant manager for years now, for longer than I've been at the company at all. Alive, yeah. Uh, yeah, alive. And yeah, this dude's been having all kinds of trouble. So I'm finally like to this point where uh, there have been issues that I've had with my company, but they're not the thing that pushed me to quitting. And now after seeing all of these changes and seeing what they're doing going forward it makes me really hopeful for everyone that's staying there that there are going to be some really positive changes for the people that are causing problems for everybody else and making work harder 
Holy shit, I am so fucking blown away though. Those are huge changes. A demotion? That has never happened at our company ever. That's wild. Ever. I mean, he, maybe he asked 40 for it. Years. Maybe, maybe it was something he asked for because it, it's like. Could have been. Because there's no precedent, right? Like, if it doesn't happen, I mean, he might have been like, hey, you know what? I really want to focus on my, you know, my. Uh, I, I don't want to. I know I was going to say some racist shit. Because I think this guy might be racist. The dude yeah. that oh yeah, he's a QAnon yeah. supporter ass. That, that guy, yeah. yeah I yeah, was yeah. like, yeah, I was like, I really want to work on my QAnon vlog. Um, but <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, fuck him, dude. <laughs> yeah, rough shit. So that was mind blowing. Uh, mm-hmm. Very fun things. And then today, I got more dog issues. This week mm-hmm. is just full of them. Last week was too, and it's the same people. Uh, now I'm getting complaints from an apartment about their neighbor's dogs being aggressive, uh, saying that they don't like taking their dog out because every time they do, the other dogs will like be really aggressive towards them. And I'm here thinking like, well, then just don't take your dog out when the other people have their dogs. I don't understand. Doesn't make sense. And now she's saying... Uh, she left a message saying how she is so frustrated with the management here. The old management used to be better. And I'm sitting here like, bitch, when have you, you ever had a problem? And I'm the one that took care of everything. I did so much shit as the assistant manager. I, I took care of everyone's problems before they escalated to Kate. And now I take care of every single problem. I don't want Emily to have to deal with that because as a manager, you should be the one dealing with all the bullshit. Um, But yeah, I don't think Emily should have to deal with that. So I'm taking care of all of it. And it's just like you're saying that the same person that's helped you all the time in the past is bad at helping you. And I've been terrible all along. And I'm like, shut up. You don't know. And they had problems with these uh, these neighbors last week, so I called and was like, yo, what up? Just a, a heads up. We're like trying to take care of some aggressive dogs. Just uh, go ahead and give us a call. We're just trying to figure out whose dogs they are. And now this time, since they didn't call me back, I was like, hey, we've gotten calls specifically about yours. Because normally saying, you know, we're trying to figure it out in your area of the property, around your apartment. Uh, we've had complaints about this. So people could realize, oh, shit, people are paying attention to us. We're getting in trouble. Don't know who it is. Don't know anything specific. Management's not mad at us. We could fix this before anything happens. Usually it works pretty good. This time it didn't. So instead, mm. I had to uh, call each of them and be like, People are saying that your dogs are the aggressive dogs. Please give me a call back. You know, being serious, which is not how I act at all. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, ugh, this is so annoying. So they all call me and I tell them what's going on. They're like, our dogs are so sweet. They're the sweetest dogs. They would never be aggressive. I don't know whose dogs they are. And I'm like, cool, just keep me in the loop then because people were saying it was yours. Now that I know that it's not, just, you know, keep talking to me about it. Uh, We'll stay in touch about the whole thing. And then I called the woman who called complaining and uh wanted to hear everything from her because i was like it's not worth it she's not going to say anything important but i wanted to hear everything from her and explain i've i've spoken to everybody uh we are all good unless it's a different apartment but you seem like you know who it is so i don't know she never called me back i spent the whole day fucking stressing she left a two minute long voicemail bitching about how terrible management is and how nobody takes care of anything and she needs to go above my head in order to take care of this and i'm like yeah, this is the last stop, bro. <laughs> like above me are the uh, owners and general manager, and they're pretty much just here for making sure that everything stays on. We have power. No, yeah. Employees are working there. <laughs> like, they like they don't care about you. They're just trying to cash no. your check, dude. I'm the person that tries to help people out and have helped people out. That motherfucker almost got evicted before just because that's what our management would do. You think that they're gonna actually help you with the problem? Dude, I don't even know what the problem is. It was making me so upset. And she didn't call me at all today. And I'm like, if you call me tomorrow, I have no sympathy, dude. Like, you called me out. You didn't call me back when you left a message and told me to call you immediately at 1030 at night? What the fuck? People are crazy. Uh, Going into crazy people, we have been having so many people apply for these apartments that have terrible credit. And one of our first requirements is to not have any negative credit, which means not have any collections. Not just like you missed a couple of payments. It's 
don't have collections and these people have like sixteen thousand dollar collections and Jesus. we've had five people this week apply and get denied because they keep doing that not many people apply in general suddenly everyone's doing it and they're all getting denied and then i have to make the uncomfortable phone call of hey you got denied for this reason and then they like go oh yeah okay and five minutes later i get a call back and they're like so what the fuck is wrong with my credit and i'm like Nothing. Nothing wrong with credit. You're, you're fucking. You just you're, owe a lot of money, and I'm going to send you something collection. in the mail that says where you can go to fix it. That's it, man. <laughs> like, good luck. Jesus. So many. I just don't understand what's happening. Uh, it's seriously one of the first things that you read in our. What are the requirements for your application? <sighs> That's all the annoying stuff. And now we're on to the fun thing. <laughs> so. On Monday, we had a, a work order put in by a resident that said somebody had etched the word cunt in her door and <laughs> she needs it taken care of. And we're like, yeah, yeah, okay. She's a nice woman. She She's like a, a speech therapist or something like that. Um, and she she just lives alone. She's nice and quiet and young. And nobody would have done cunt. that. Nobody would have done that to her. And uh, we had to, yeah, tell our maintenance about it. Um, <laughs> yesterday, I was telling him about it. And he's like, okay, yeah, well, I can't take care of it this week. So I'll come back and I'll do that next week. We needed to get the paint for it. Because um, it's a specific different kind for the door. And we have to get it from some specific person. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Uh, so anyways, he scheduled it for next Tuesday. I don't know if you've heard this expression before. But I thought it was funny. So he scheduled it for next Tuesday, and I'm like, see you next Tuesday, buddy. And he didn't say a thing. He's never heard it. See you next Tuesday is uh, is a tongue-in-cheek way of calling somebody a cunt, if you've never heard that. Wow, I've never heard that. Yeah, because C, like the letter C, U, like the letter U, next, next abbreviate it with an N, and Ooh. then T. Yeah, you abbreviate Tuesday, right? That's some it's, big brain stuff. It's some right good there. stuff. So he had never heard it, and I was like, "Oh, dude, let me explain it to you, so you could be mean to somebody without being mean to them." <laughs> and I told wow. it to him, and he's like, "I don't understand." And I'm like, "I don't know if you're fucking with me or not, but I'm gonna explain it." And I'm like, "Okay, so just like look here." I didn't want to like physically write it because I didn't want him to, you know, just see the word written down and yeah, still yeah, not yeah. get it. I needed to, you know, make sure that he understood what that phrases what that expression is so i'm going through he's like yeah c i get that it could be like c like the letter c or it could be like you know s-e-e sure u the letter u could also be y-o-u they're abbreviated that way sure but next i don't understand why would you abbreviate next with n and i'm like it's it's not an abbreviation for next like n doesn't mean next it's just the first letter it's like and tuesday just doesn't you know and i'm like hey man can you just like can you follow me really quick here? And he finally an figured it out. And he sat there and he just realized it and couldn't say anything. And then just looks up and he's like, that's really fucking funny. <laughs> like after all this time, I had that's to break funny. it down step by step. And finally he's like, I love that. That's awesome. And I'm like, you learned something new today, dude. Go have a good day. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Cause like, I got it within seconds of you telling me, like, yeah. I know, like, it's oh, not hard, yeah. Cool. And he's just like, but. <laughs> it was so much the fun. Brain don't work. <laughs> it was so much fun breaking it down for him. Anyways, that was awesome. I absolutely loved that whole thing. Uh, and then the last thing that I have for a news, I guess, uh, about myself. I got invited to the Crunchyroll Beta 2, bitch. That's right. I'm in. And then I clicked the uh, the link, and it said 404, not found. Damn, and then I, I tried it on my computer instead of my phone, and it said the same thing. So Feels bad, dude. Maybe maybe you didn't <laughs> actually you know get invited to the beta. Shout uh, outs to Crunchyroll for being inconsistent right now. Uh, kind of a bummer. And uh, we're going to throw Sony under the bus for this one. My beta's looking good right now, dude. Oof. I bet it's looking pretty tasty, dog. Ooh, fucking delicioso. That is really funny. When you sent me that text, you're like, yeah, yeah I got invited, and it doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't fucking work. <laughs> Feels bad. 
so I guess that's what's been going on with me. Uh, I got called out like twice in the same day. Fucked up my sleep really bad. Tonight's my last night on call for this week. And then it's just Monster Hunter. And I'll be streaming Monster Hunter like fucking nonstop. And I'm so excited to just dive in and, and blast with my boys. I also yeah. realized, I don't know how long I'm going to spend on it, but I have to create my character and... I just want to get in there and play, but I don't want to have a dumpy looking character. I want to have one that I like. Ugh. <laughs> so I was whining to my buddy Sam, and he's like, don't worry, man. I'm going to be doing the same thing. Got to make sure to have a cool character. I'm like, yeah, but like. But you don't even see them. I take They've got so their armor long. on. I'm sorry. But you understand. You don't get to actually see them. They're wearing armor the whole time. I don't get it. I'm sorry. It doesn't You're cover right. you their face. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. All you're doing I... is making their face. I'm being really insensitive. I don't really. Their get face it. isn't covered by a helmet. Covered by armor. It doesn't even matter. I can't even see them. I could so. be wearing a beautiful crown. I could be wearing a crazy hat full of feathers. I could be wearing just earrings. It's It's got all different kinds of options. Just do the default. Do default one for all of them and just kind of go for it. All right. Sounds good. Okay. That's not how it works anymore, Juan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's how games work in my head. <laughs> It, I'm very excited though. It's gonna be a stupid fun time, and that's what's been up with me. No other cool new shit to say. Man, yeah, that's okay yeah. though. You want to learn about some anime stuff? You, you mean like watch, talk about anime? You didn't watch, watch much, so I'm gonna be telling you a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Let me tell you about the anime I watched though. Oh, you watched anime? Congratulations, dude! Super proud of you. I, okay, so I'm I only sorry. watched. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being a dick to you. I'm sorry, What the man. fuck's your problem, I don't know. I don't know. I liked, I it, better. I liked, it, but... I liked it better when you had a job and you were hella fucking sad. <laughs> no, There's here's no the thing, man. I am running on fucking fumes right now. <laughs> so everything is like not going through a filter. It's just, woo! Okay, here it is. I watched the two most recent episodes of Attack on Titan. The one that was that was delayed because of the earthquake uh -huh. um the week before and then this week's anime episode but apparently you told me that some people have watched this week's episode somehow is that what you were saying no 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 so uh when i was trying to watch them because i saw that they were already being discussed and uh released on a reddit thread or some shit mm -hmm. and I couldn't find it on Crunchyroll or Funimation, but people were already discussing the second episode. There was a whole separate conversation for the mm. second episode, and I was so confused. I'm like, how the fuck are all these people doing this? Right. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, dude. It's fine. So the episode from two weeks ago um, picked up from like a very kind of abrupt ending that we really that we both really like that yeah. led to and i agree a bunch of really good memes <sighs> such hot uh, shit yeah it, it felt really bad you talking to kate about it because like oh man if kate really if kate knew but she doesn't because she's not watching it um but it was really good that episode was fucking brutal there were so many people just getting hurt and i was just like oh no just please stop. just getting like like real fucked up. They weren't like major characters or anything. No, but no, they no, were no. getting yeah, real yeah. fucked up. Yeah, it was just a lot of like, it was a lot of people getting beat up, and then hey, you beat up this person, and all right, who's next? Who, who's the next? We're going to beat up. Um, I felt I felt really bad for one of the persons that got their ass kicked. I was like, come on, man, that's a uh, uh, come on, settle down. It's, a little, <laughs> it's it's too much. I really I had to pause it. I was like, I can't handle this. This is breaking I was, my heart. I was upset with it. Yeah, it really upset me because my boy don't deserve that. And you know he doesn't deserve... It's okay. But the boy who was doing the other beating up, he brought up some pretty good points. I was like, whoa. I mean, when he said it, I was just like... Yeah, but like you don't have to be a dick about it. <laughs> exactly. I was just like, I was like, yeah, okay. It's like when someone's right, but they just like keep like, yeah, the, like the tone of the way they say it. And like, uh -huh. you go, okay, asshole. I mean, so settle in down. My personal opinion, my favorite characters, the people that I wouldn't want anything to happen to, uh, Sasha and Armin. So I've got a great time ahead of me, probably. <laughs> mm -hmm, <laughs> you yeah. know, like I, I am caught up for anyone that's like, oh, you know what's going on here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm caught up. I just those are your, you those know, are those your are my, two, those are my loves. two, those are my tr two true, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Potato girl and genius boy who's got a beautiful coconut. Heart. Coconut head. Coconut head. The big old dork. Um, yeah, so that first one was brutal. Second one was a lot of recap, like backstory on... Uh, <laughs> recap. <laughs> yeah. Recap. Backstory on um, 
on a character. Um, yeah, which is really cool. It's cool to see it, to see their past, and then uh, there was you 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 had told me when when I popped in on your Fall Guys session. By the way, you played Fall Guys this week. You yeah, I did. Well, I wasn't gonna say anything about it because yeah, yeah. you know. But the squads mode is pretty fun. Apparently, it is really really fun. I'm super excited to play more. I was gonna bring up Fall Guys in the news, so we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's right. It is a part of news. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, but you had mentioned that in the most recent episode, like he goes, you said a lot of it. Almost all of it's in the past, and you go like, and then there's like three minutes in the present. I was like, three minutes? That's it? You know, I'm like that. And then I watch those three minutes, and I go, oh, my fucking <laughs> God. You know, for these three minutes. It's like, I, I, I believe- don't know what happened at the end. Like, I, we won't know until next episode for certain. Next episode might not even confirm anything. Yeah, dude, shit's wild. Um, there's only a few, like, I think a, hand, like a couple, right? Two or three more episodes? Yeah, we're almost there. It's right Until there. Until possibly uh, another season. No, the final not, season two. Do you think really think two episodes, happen. they're going to wrap it up? I don't know what's going to happen, Trip. But that People are still adamant that there's going to be more. That there's another 12 episodes after these two. I'm really so worried. I'm it, really worried. It might wind up being a sequel season called something different. It might wind up being something else. I don't know. But people Maybe. say that there's more. Maybe we'll get these two episodes. This season will end. And they'll be like, okay, cool. Catch you later. And then, like, it'll be five-year hiatus. <laughs> and then they go, hey, cool, we gave it to JC staff. They'll handle it. They'll do you right. Don't worry and about it. And then you watch it, and you're like, what is this? And it's just, like, a comedy. This. Yeah. <laughs> it's barely animated. Yeah. Uh, fuck. <laughs> just yeah. Fr- still frame. We wanted to try really hard to make sure that it captured the essence of the manga by making sure the characters didn't move too didn't much. Didn't move at all. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Christ. I can't believe he said that. It's just like a director. Fuck you. It, not people who about know, Attack on Titan. <laughs> that's the way the house has been. That's what Trip's talking about. We will be reviewing that when it comes out. At, it comes out. Uh, around March 8th. April something. April, yeah. So around the, probably like the second week of April. Second or third week. Yeah, something um, like that. Anyways, uh, it just really, I think it's really interesting that these last two episodes of Attack on Titan felt very different. Yeah. Um, but they were both really good. Oh, um, yeah. So yeah, it's just it's such a good show. If you top and top you, notch, top ten. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, you're really doing yourself a disservice. Um, I understand if you watch it and you don't like it for like maybe like you're not into the gore or like the violence or like the themes that you know arise. I understand that, but it's a really good it's show. Like animation wise, character development, story, plot. Like there's just so many like good things in it um, that you know you should you should at least give it a shot and i'm like almost 100 percent sure like you'll love it my Um, old roommate josh was waiting until it was all done to catch up with mm -hmm. it because he watched some of season three and just decided you know what i'm just gonna watch the whole thing when it comes out so he's been re-watching everything and is finally like he was texting me last night and said that he is eight episodes from being caught up so he's watching two at a time he should be caught up by the end of the season yeah uh my yeah my friend hotshot from college um he, oh uh, shout outs to hotshot shout out was he was really cool to help me on my animation um he like drop of the house like hey man i need help and he was like giving me like Dude, I help stuff people and, like, let's go yeah and we're like working stuff through so yeah he really he really helped out a lot um but yeah hotshot was telling me like he's like yeah he's like he isn't he wants to be an animator but he's like never really got into anime and it took me forever to get him to watch Erased. He calls it Eraser because it's like because yep. he just can't get it right. And when he finally watched finished it, he was like, "Oh, dude, this show's really good." I was like, "I fucking told you, been telling Duh. you for years." Yeah. And uh, he just kind of dropped me with the like, "Yeah, you know, I'm just uh, watching an Attack on Titan." I was what? like, "What? Are you watching the big one?" Yeah. I was like, "Yo, like, you know, how far are you?" And he's just like, "Season three. I was like, "Oh, dude, you're actually in it! Like, holy shit!" You're in he's the just shit. like, "Shit." I was like, he's like, yeah, man, it's good. He goes like, he, he said, I try not to watch it too fast, you know, because I know there's not a lot of it, but there's it's not really good. There's so much. Are you fucking like, giving me 72 I think, goddamn episodes? I know, I know. Because it's going to be done like, soon, right? Yeah. He's, 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 like, he's like, oh, I just kind of want to enjoy it. I was like, yeah, dude, like, I feel like I'm jealous at him because he gets to, he. it's all there. He's got so much to watch. Oh, hell but yeah. I'm also kind of not because like, once he's done, like once he catches up, he's also done. Like my nephew just got, he's literally on the last episode of the uh, you know, attack on uh, my attack my on hero. my yeah. hero, my hero academia, and he's just like he keeps asking me he's like, hey, have you seen season five? I'm like, no, season five is not out yet. He goes like, okay, well, let's watch it. I was like, no, it it doesn't ex- ex- like it, they're making it still like it hasn't p- premiered. It's not on TV yet. It's like it hasn't aired. 
And he's just like, I don't get it. It's like, why can't we is watch this? Is this the like, first time he's experiencing this? He does, That's yeah, crazy. Well, I mean, well, because I as a what... kid, I, I didn't know when mm-hmm. shows were airing or whatever. But I yeah. knew that nothing was done. Everything just kept going. Kept going. And he... now it's weird because he's a child who's who's lived with Netflix and shit. Mm-hmm. And yeah. YouTube it's all just and whatever. There. Yeah. yeah. And he also doesn't have cable. Like, he just has, like, Netflix yeah. and Hulu. Like, like, those kind of things. So he's just like... I don't get it. Like, wow. He's like, you. He goes, you know what happens? I was like, yeah, I know what happens because I'm reading the comic book that's yeah. based off of. Yeah. And he goes, it's like, well, can we like, when's it? Come? I was like, I don't know, Shannon. Like, spring or summer of this year. Like, it's gonna come. I was like, it comes out he goes, in two weeks, you guys. He, it comes he out goes, in April, uh, beginning of April. He, he says, okay, well, when it does come out, we need to catch up on that. I was like, yeah, we do, dog, we do. But so, <sighs> so I feel jealous because I feel you know, bad you're telling like, him that it comes out in April, but. When does the simul dub come out? You know, They're, those are usually at least I think two weeks apart. But yeah, maybe they got better at it. Maybe they'll be a week apart. But my hero is so. But popular. COVID, uh, true. I mean, co- but but they can still do remote. I you think know, it's dubbing. harder for the directors to do their job shut remotely. Up. Shut up! You don't know. I don't. I I don't. But <laughs> I know that there have but been a lot of dubs. This. I know that there are a lot of dubs that are like. The final episode of this is about to air, and it's like a full season behind. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So that's why I'm like, I don't know exactly what it is, but I will make excuses because <laughs> of things that I've seen. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's cool that you know. I think cool that Josh caught up with you know Attack on Titan. You know, fucking Kyle's watching Attack on Titan. It's so good. I I'm really excited for the wrap up just to kind of just really actually talk about it and not be like you know pussyfoot and around and be like you know when said character did said thing and we go yeah said thing was nice and they go yeah i can't believe said character like Dude, i hate when that Zeke so time traveled back to the ancient ages of the dinosaurs and he was just monkeying around with a bunch of brontosaurus it was dope i'm so sick of i'm so sick of not being able to like talk about it fully yeah yes, man. those those are the only shows i watched this week um i'm excited to watch more anime this week now that i have a, a weight lifted off my shoulders <sighs> Well, what have let's you start watching? out with uh, let's start out with Promise Neverland and roll into Wonder Egg. How about that? And then we'll talk that about the good. rest. Uh, yeah. Promise Neverland, dude. This is like I I am sp- fucking big spoilers for anyone that actually cares. But please do not watch season two seriously. It's a terrible, terrible show. It's just completely different than the first season, and it has no excuse to be this bad. Uh, they figured everything out. They got to go back to the Gracefield farm and go meet up with all the kids that they left behind. And they are going to save their asses. And then they're going to go through a secret door to the normal human world, apparently. And uh, everything's going to work out. You know what? They set up hot air balloons so they could make sure to, like, cure demons and shit. And then they set up decoy hot air balloons to get shot down and then they were in other hot air balloons amongst the decoys they drop down everyone's fine don't worry about it uh they kill all the other demons but wait vincent was supposed to double cross them at the end of the last episode no you know what fuck that actually vincent was double double crossing uh he went ahead and was like yeah that's right i'm actually on your side but i'm pretending like i'm not on your side and they don't know that but i'm double crossing them and i'm back on your side which is just so fucking stupid that he wouldn't tell anyone that shit and it didn't matter anyways so they get there they're like saving everyone's lives it's all working out and then boom they get to the room that maybe the door's in or whatever at least the room that they're meeting back up in and oh shit there's a bunch of faceless military people with machine guns it's actually a bunch of moms uh fucking dumb uh (laughs) and then they're like you remember the main villain that we introduced for that like 30 seconds in a like monitor room a few episodes ago yeah he's the main villain he's actually been super important the whole time and uh he's really really evil so he's gonna kill all the kids and then boom he calls out mom who's actually grandma now and she's holding a gun at the kids and she's like sup fuckers i'm gonna kick your ass uh guess what flipped it on you again we're fighting the main bad guy now we beat him game over and then it's going to the next episode sounds good man i can't wait to watch that show it's again time and time just like oh here's a problem solve problem solve problem solve problem solve 
five problems arise in an episode and none of them matter at all. It all gets solved. There's no tension. They don't let you sit on any of the big moments at all because they just want to get through this goddamn show and never touch it again. It looks bad. It's not good. Please don't watch The Promised Neverland Season 2. When I say it looks bad, I mean there are some dumb-looking faces on those kids, dude. They look like freaking dweebs. It's funny as hell. <sighs> and then we good. go into Wonder Egg Priority that's doing the exact opposite shit. It's so good, Juan. They uh, They finally had a moment where... It became more fucked up than any other episode by far. And it made me actually really sad and uncomfortable uh, in a way that's not like a touchy subject. You know, that a lot of what's been being done in this show is like, here's a sensitive topic to make you kind of uncomfortable, but it's like an authentic one. Uh, no, for this one, it was just it's going into full on, very fucked up situations uh, I can't really spoil a whole lot, but there's a big moment of, of happiness. This, this episode had to do with a, a trans person, by the way, and okay. it was a really well handled, uh, little plot line in the episode. Dark, of course, very dark, but they did a good job. And, uh, then the, of course, all the girls that they're saving, it, they always have good conclusions, right? So they saved uh, the trans boy, and then it was uh, it was all happy for a minute, until it took the darkest turn of the show, and it made me feel fucking sick and sad. <laughs> and I love it. It is so good. It got a visceral response from me, just like a, a genuine uh, oh god, you know, like uh, uh, horrible, horrible. It made you feel something, huh? Yeah. It's being done by the same studio that does The Promised Neverland, which is the thing that fucking blows my mind and why I like to talk about the two of them at the same time. I really don't want to spoil anything from Wonder Egg Priority, but if you don't watch it, you're sincerely missing out on one of the best anime I have ever seen. Um, It's up there with The Promised Neverland (laughs) Neverland Season 1. Season 1, yeah. (laughs) I, I came up across a TikTok where someone was just like, you know, like ranking shows that, you know, first impression and then what he really thought and he was just like promise everland you know no, uh wonder egg priority is just like out of 10 i thought it'd be like a 6 out of 10 you know it wasn't looking too great he's like watched it 9.5 out of 10 like one of the best shows i've ever seen I'm like yeah dude it's a fucking great show it's so good i'm super stoked um i wonder i'm pretty sure like the visceral visceral thing that got you will probably hit me i'll let you know when it's, i get there it's going to it's sad and fucked up and like a like, if you saw it in a trying-to-be-weird-and-fucked-up horror movie, you would be like, yeah, this is making me feel weird and fucked up. But it's in an yep. anime that, uh, right after it's super fucked up, it comes in with the outro that's just like a big, fun, poppy time. you know. Exit. So All you just sit you. there and you're like, I feel way worse now. This song makes me feel bad because it's too happy. <laughs> like... Mm-hmm. It's so crazy. So fantastic time with that. Uh, we actually finished up Cells at Work uh, Black, uh, Code Black. No, regular one. I thought the regular one finished. That one's already done. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah so Cells at okay. Work Code Black is now over. It had a really solid finale um, where it's essentially just, I mean, the whole thing is about a terrible body. And what's the way that things are going to work out? Well, he's going to get better. Don't worry, guys. There's going to be another season, and there's a specific reason why, and it's still going to be fucked up. And they're even like, this is going to be worse than ever before. (laughs) So it's like, it's setting up for a fucked up season, uh, season two. I'm really excited. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I'm I'm excited to to catch up with that one, too. Yeah. uh, When you watch the finale, you'll be stoked. Kyle, the whole time, is just like... I hope he dies. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I hope the body dies as well. That would be pretty fucking crazy. And uh, the end of the show is like the body going through a lot of problems and the heart actually stopping. So there was a chance the body was going to die. And then, you know, the things work out. They're just like really fucked up in the entire show. Uh, and then the end of the show ends pretty happy, immediately turns into, oh, God. So I'm really excited for you to see that. Um, okay. Okay. Otherwise, it's just typical cells at work stuff. 
<sighs> Hori Mia. I don't know how I feel about Hori Mia right now. Just straight up. Uh, I was really liking Hori Mia, and they stopped focusing on our main characters, and it feels like uh, a lot more of what the manga apparently is, because I think it's a four coma manga, so it's okay. very separated, segmented storylines. Uh, you know, it'll focus on other characters, but it won't put a heavy emphasis on a like continuation, ongoing storyline with our main characters because they're just like popping around all these different fun little oh check out this new character check out this one and it it feels different uh so i don't think this show is gonna be a like must watch for everybody but the first half of it so fucking solid uh, i'll figure out how i feel about the entire thing later but it, it just focused a lot less on the things that i liked in this episode so okay i mean it's a bummer. I mean, I'm, it might not actually bug me just because I I, I like it. I like the, yeah. the dumb cutesy stuff. So Still looks adorable. Well, it, it's just, it's different. It's not like dumb cutesy stuff exactly. It's just different stuff. Hmm. I, I don't know. It's it's weird. But uh, Then we've got Jobless Reincarnation, which was confirmed for a second season, which I thought is really weird because the reason the studio was formed... Uh, studio firm or whatever um no studio bind that's what it is they were formed to make the show to make the entire show to adapt make just this yeah to adapt all the light novels so i was surprised that it got renewed for a second season but also pretty happy because the latest episode just did some really solid isekai stuff uh it didn't do any of the things that i've been having problems with and it's turning into a show that I'm more interested in, but also a little bit disappointed that they kind of went very typical isekai route with a adventurer's guild. You got to rank up in order to get money kind of situation, and they need money in order to get back home. It's a whole thing. Uh, but one at this point, I recommend you check it out. Okay. You know what? I'd actually, to be fair, um, I did catch a glimpse of the Jambus reincarnate, and I think it was... Like the clip of him seeing someone die for the first time. Yeah, you, you had mentioned something about it, but I, I like it was it. It was animated very well. Yeah. Like I was like, it's fuck, they're like, killing like, it with the animation. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, I don't really my studios like them. Just can't really it's, trust them. You know, you can't trust it. But I think that the journey is kind of worth it. Um, because yeah, those, especially, sorry, especially because I think I even mentioned to you. I was just like, hey man, I was like, second season announced, and you were like. You you were the one that informed me the studio was literally made just to make all of this stuff. I was like, oh shit. So that's maybe that's a like a that's a good thing, right? I like, guess it's you know, a good thing. Because <laughs> they're you know, they guarantee they're they're really focusing on it looking great. It yeah. does look really fucking good. It does. I uh, mean, when you look at another I don't know how big this show's gonna be. It mm-hmm. I think the first light novel was written in twenty twelve or something. Um I don't think it's gonna be like as long as Black Clover is, but only fifty episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only fifty episodes, not one hundred and seventy or whatever. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be like that long, but it's it feels like they're trying to do. Uh, hey, we're doing a cool shonen fantasy world, and we're doing some other stuff. I don't know why I'm comparing it with Black Clover, but it's just like a big show. Where there's a dedicated studio just like making that whole thing, and that's just what they're set for, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it, it feels like it's a much better quality than a show like Black Clover. Yeah, well, I'll I'll give it a watch. It does look it does look really nice. And you said the rapey bits or the sexual bits have kind of gone away. So. Completely gone from the last episode. I was uh, pretty floored, honestly. Like in a good way. Yeah, I was just yeah, like, yeah. "Whoa!" No, you weren't they, you weren't upset. You were no, like, no, no, "Fuck no. these guys!" <laughs> yeah. I was just so shocked because I was used to disliking half of the episode and then mm-hmm. going, "Ah, but it's such it's such so a good, good quality of the stuff that I like." <laughs> I don't yeah. Know that. Anyways, uh, then we've got Skate the Infinity. Good time. It's just boys. That's it. Just boys skating. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like that's it's, it's just it's, it's like your default. Just pretty boys skating. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, pretty boys had a fight. Pretty boys are now friends again. They skated again. They they feel good now, and it's gonna wrap up in like an episode or two here. Uh, enjoy it. it. It's just 
it's a solid pretty boy show totally not worth watching um yeah <laughs> it looks really fun and if you like skateboarding and uh supporting boys the show might be all your all your jams who knows other side picnic um we're almost done they went and saved the united states military nice good for them <laughs> it was so funny. two japanese girls good job yeah uh let me let me look at what the episode name was because holy shit when it popped on and i saw what the title was i was like how how did they just fucking name it that uh so the last one was called how to get to the barbecue restaurant by elevator and Mm -hmm. uh you heard about that in our previous podcast yeah and then this one was called operation rescue u.s forces (laughs) and i'm like what the fuck i wonder what What happens in this episode yeah Uh uh-huh uh so yeah then we're getting into the final episode it's it's kind of doing some weird time stuff where it's like oh maybe it was actually this character that went back in time and is friends with this other character to help her train and then once she's trained she's gonna help the original character train up it it feels like it's gonna do some weird time loop bullshit like that i don't know we'll see it's okay you don't have to watch it, but if you like some stuff that deals with, like, oh, spooky, kind of trans-dimensional, scary shit, that's kind of what the show's going for. It's mm. got some things that I like in it, so I've watched it all. Uh, yeah. Anyways, that's all the anime that I've watched this week. Good. Aside from Be The Beginning. Uh, all right. Uh, let's do the news, and then we'll get into our quickest fucking review ever. <laughs> all right. So first off, uh, since Juan already ruined it, yeah, I had a great time playing Fall Guys. They had a big update, and they announced... No, you're fine. I'm kidding. (laughs) (laughs) They announced a bunch of skins. I just think it's really funny and really interesting that uh, Fall Guys is going to release a Kitsuna Eye skin, and Kitsuna Eye is a uh, YouTube VTuber, and she's pretty damn popular, so... I'm stoked to be a little anime girl in that game. It's going to be great. did you say they're also doing like a tournament or something? Yeah, it's part of some tournament. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Let's fucking go for the gold, dude. We're doing it. Uh, so yeah, that's the first thing. Next up, Crunchyroll announced its spring anime lineup. There's a lot of good shit in there. So uh, unless Funimation also has it, you know, it might be worth going back to the crunch. They got My Hero Season 5, Tokyo Avengers, Two Year Eternity, Zombieland Saga Season 2, The Slime Diaries, Jeron the Princess of Snow and Blood, Card Fight Vanguard, Overdress, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, Fairy Ranmaru, Farewell My Dear Kramer, Fruits Basket's Last Season, Higa Hero After Being Rejected, I Shaved and Took in a High School Runaway, How Not to Summon a Demon Lord Season 2, which a bunch of people are stoked about. Uh, I've been killing slimes for 3,000, ye- sorry, for 300 years and maxed out my level. Koi Kimo, Odd Taxi, the one that you really want to check out. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the rom-com where the childhood friend won't lose and those snowy white no or sorry, those snow white notes. Good shit. Lots of stuff. Sounds like a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm excited crunch- about a few of those. Maybe the crunch will really bring it. Uh, so far, they got a lot to prove because Funimation is on their ass. I mean, Wonder Egg priority just blows everything else out of the water. Unless we can get blown away by like two year eternity or something. Funimation's kind of killing it this Tokyo year. Tokyo Revengers or something. I don't know. Yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. Demon Slayer movie wins animation of the year at the 44th Japan Academy Awards. Surprise to surprised. no one. I was surprised to I was surprised to hear that uh, Kate is a fan of Demon Slayer. She's like, she's you like, didn't know I, that? She, no, she's oh. just like, I was like, oh, I, I gotta watch this fucking movie. And I thought she was joking. And then she's like, no, I watched the show. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, she loved the show. She was freaking out on the episode that everyone freaked out on. I was like, Chris, have you seen it? And I'm like, I'm not go. watching the show, but I have seen the clip. It did look pretty good, but it didn't do anything Does, for me at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> like the cool action. I like cool action stuff, but I have to be invested in the characters in the story. Otherwise, I don't care what happens to anyone in a fight, and I don't care about how cool the fight looks, which is most of Be the Beginning. Uh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Higurashi, uh, the show that you absolutely love. Did you keep up with it? Higurashi, When They Cry or something like yeah. that? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I've fallen off, but I do want to keep watching. I think I'm like on episode 14, but it should be. Is it done? Please tell me they're not adding more. There's a second core coming July 2021. Oh, fuckers. The first core was like 24 episodes. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> It'll be nice to watch, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so uh, people absolutely love it, but um, for people that are big fans of Higurashi in general, they have been liking it a lot. Just it's been doing mm-hmm. fantastic things. Uh, but for some people that it's their first experience with Higurashi, I guess that's uh, causing a lot of negative reviews coming out. They, they're it's, just not into it. So it I, it, I think it's just like, it's, it's for a different type of people. Like this thing was big back in the day. And then they, they, this isn't like, this isn't even like the first remake or whatever. Like they've done it several times. So they're obviously have like a target audience. And so if you come into this and you go, oh, this is what I like. For as many people that say that, there's also many people like, this is fucking beautiful. It's the best shit in the world. Like, I know that Kyle's mom, not the Kyle, not your friend Kyle, my friend Kyle. Well, you've already talked about your friend Kyle, but this is a different your friend Kyle. This is a different friend. This is a different Kyle. God, there's so many fucking Kyles. Um, his mom grew up playing the H- the Higurashi games, and so she's watching this show, and she's like, oh, it's so brutal. I was like, but it's like, that's my shit. And I was like, okay. All right, dude. Fuck. All right, cool. Have a good time. Um, but I think... I think, I don't know, I think I just kind of like the genre, and it's kind of spooky, it's kind of dumb, it feels old, but it's new, so I understand why <laughs> why newer people, like newer anime watchers probably watch it and just like, don't really fucking vibe with it, sure. it's fine, I mean, I, I'll i probably watch the second core, gotta finish the first core though, Nice. <laughs> first, yeah. Okay, so the last thing is the uh, weirdest piece of news to me, Wit Studio establishes a stop motion studio with uh, the Pui Pui Mold Car Director. The so, Pui Pui Mulkar? What is that? Don't know. How do you spell it? P U I P U Y M O L C A R. Enjoy. Uh, yeah, just the fact that Wit Studio is going to start a stop motion studio, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty dope. Uh, so, I'm excited <laughs> to see what weird shit we're going to get. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so glad I looked it up. It's little hamsters that are cars. <laughs> oh yeah yeah i've seen it i love that actually i absolutely fucking loved that shit uh there's this whole like buddy cop chase thing going on oh man oh fantastic oh yeah yeah i see the cop chase one this is wild um i guess maybe they're guinea pigs i don't know but okay that's everyone go check it out pui pui mall car it's it's fucking (laughs) awesome uh wits i didn't know what it was called yeah so wits into it and now I'm way more into it. Because, like, you could look at something like Rulukuma, which, fantastic looking. It looks mm-hmm. gorgeous. They did such a good job. I don't really care about the content of the show. It was a little slow. It was a little sweet. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That was the bear one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, it was like, this is kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. It, and it was fine. But it looked really good. And the sets then, were yeah. so cute and so well done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this whole other thing, Pui Pui Mokar, just damn dude it looks so good it's, it's so funny. fun it's funny to think that wit decided not to do the last season of attack on time they're like fuck like, it we're doing hamster cars dude that's what we're hamster in. cars for us please a whole new stop motion studio that's fun. yeah let's i'm excited to check that out whenever it drops <laughs> whatever it funny. drops yeah whenever it drops <sighs> that's all the news that i have for you so i am so excited to get into be the beginning season two also known mm. as be the beginning succession also known as a show that you should absolutely avoid at all costs. But hey, just in case you're feeling a little bit wily and you want to watch what we're watching, uh, Be the Beginning Season 2. For those yeah, of you man. that don't know what Be the Beginning is, Season 1 was a little like crime drama detective show with a supernatural twist. And then uh, Season 2 came in and it was like, you're going to kill God for us. You don't have any choice. And I'm sitting there like, oh, okay. So we've gone, we've gone off the deep end, like hard this time. <laughs> okay. Let's, I want to quickly just say that, um, the biggest selling point to reviewing this, uh, <laughs> was the, was the fact that you said, Hey man, it's six episodes. It was like, oh, cool, man. I just come off a really busy week. That sounds great. Six episodes, 22 minutes. How long could, how, how hard could that be? You know? Um, oh, it's so hard. It was so one of the hard. hardest things I had to watch. That being said, it's not the worst thing I've seen. Ico's still way worse than this. Yeah. Um, but it was, I had to, I had to like, I fell asleep for the first episode and I was like, I have to rewatch it. So I watched it 
And then I was like, cool, I can't watch any more episodes. I went back to it the next day, couldn't force myself to watch it. Went back the next day, I was like, can't do it. So I literally had to watch all five episodes today. And I was just like, ah, why? Why did I fucking torture myself like this? But it's it hard was... because it's made by Production IG, who we've known yeah. from doing great things, in particular yeah. Haikyuu, but there's also like yeah. Psychopaths and Eden of the East and just like a bunch more really high quality things. And then you see something like this and you're like, ah, oh, that's right. Promise Neverland season two can happen from an amazing to studio. To anybody, yeah. <laughs> There's, nobody gonna, is getting a pass. We're going to have to come up with like an acronym for like what, like, you know, or like a, a specific like little phrase. It's because we can't say this got Promise Neverland season two, didn't it? You know, no, like, we instead we're going to say Promise, season, Promise Neverland season two got big time rushed, you know? Okay. I, that's still a mouthful. We'll figure it out. All right. But, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh. I almost was like considering going back and listening to the episode that we talked about be the beginning because we watched the first season and the reason I know we watched the first season was, uh, you know, besides remembering parts, a little bit of it was also like going to my Netflix and saying, hey, all the 12 episodes of season one you watch, like cool. But after watching the sixth episode, it's like, you know what? I don't fucking care what I thought about season one because I know how about feel about fucking season two and I don't like it. Uh, No one should watch it. Okay, um, so season one, just a, a small actual recap. Um, it starts out with some characters that don't really remember their past, and they slowly uncover them. One of them is a detective who's being brought in on a serial killer case, and the other one is uh, just this random fucking dude who doesn't remember anything, who finds out that he has these like crazy-ass kind of powers where he can... Mm-hmm. He, his eye gets all crazy and looks like a monster. And then he gets little like flecks of black skin that look f- like Gross. nothing. They, they kind of just look like pale black. Stains. It's weird. Yeah. Um, and then he gets an arm that has a sword on it. And he can, fl- and he, gets and wings he has eventually. wings. Yeah. Eventually. And then and the wings kind of look like feathers on his body uh, where the black patches are. So it slightly changed. I don't know. Anyways, a whole bunch of that. So he has cool fights, and then we get cool detective stuff, and that's essentially the show. A little bit of back and forth with that. Uh, this season starts off, and it's like, all right, cool. So you remember those characters? Everything's totally chill. Don't worry about it. Yeah, of course you don't remember them. There are a bunch of other characters, and I'm like, oh, I remember that girl. She was the one that felt like she didn't fit in because she was so goofy and yeah. like ditzy, but she was also the, a serious detective investigator person. So the, the one character, like I think it was like by everything around episode four or five, I was like, oh yeah, I like her. Yeah, she, she shouldn't. She shouldn't be she's in this fun. show. She shouldn't be in the yeah. show, but she's fun. She's great. Yeah. Uh, the detective still being like a moody, like oh, you know, I'm just a lone wolf type, but like I get wrapped up in weird things. And bleh. I'm very eccentric. I, you know, I'm yeah, fucking, uh, yeah. So we, you were saying, uh, we were agreeing that this first episode really should have had like a very small recap. It right? just needed a tiny bit to let us know. Hey, these are the important notes from the last season that we're going to carry through with this season. Whether it's a direct continuation and saying, like, fucking forget everything that happened before. These are new situations with the characters you love. That would be fine. Uh, but instead, it gave us absolutely nothing. So Yeah. So so it was really, uh, like, hard to kind of remember what was going on. But the basic plot of this season is, like, our main dude who's you know they call him the killer bee or whatever with the guy with the powers it turns out that you know from season one he was a part of like some sort of experiment with a bunch of other kids and they're like kind of like this new uh like i don't know like species they're called reggies and stuff and they regenerate themselves like they they don't die and he thought he was the last one but it turns out that in that i remember in the last season we discover one of his friends is still alive and now we find out all of his friends that he thought had died are all back yep. and they're all kind of fighting like fighting against him it's just the same plot as pokemon you know they had regigigas uh which was essentially a combination of all of the friends fusing together at the end in harmony Mm -hmm. uh they had registeel regi ice you know it's just it's exactly the same and then in this season the reg the reggies are teaming up with somebody to try to have like a political coup um to change the the status of uh their species in the society and it's just like a bunch of bullshit especially because in the like they try to make it like oh shit it's so deep it's like people are getting double crossed and at the very end you're like oh my god the guy who was kidnapped was actually behind it the whole time you go yeah okay cool 
I don't give a fuck. They also they also did the thing where like they kidnap the detective guy from early on and like they abandon him in like a tower with like no food or water. And a lot of the show is our boys trying to fi- our our group of people trying to find him. The entire second and, half is just that. So they they're like, horrible. we're going to make you kill God. And they're like, we have to find this detective guy. And then the whole time that that's happening, detective guys having flashbacks. He's like, I remember everything from my past and all the people that have ever cared about me, like these two people and none of my friends that are currently working their asses off to find me. Like, you, you know, you know why that, why that really fucking like, kind of triggered me that whole idea of him be like you know was you know like oh these are the two most people in life i don't have anybody in my life he only decides not to die because he had promised the girl detective they were going to go to a bakery on tuesday he goes like oh that's right i can't die i made a promise to go to a bakery on tuesday so i guess i better find out how to find water and live it's the old one punch um, man twist where you think that yeah. he's upset and he's dying and then it turns out oh man he just doesn't want to miss a sale and he has exactly. to miss a sale now so yeah which is wild um yeah it, the, also that guy i don't remember this from season one but apparently the girl that he loved who had died um was was also his sister and he's just like and he has this like monologue or you know conversation with it's not a real person it's his imagination he keeps saying that with her and he's just like i shouldn't like you like this a little a brother shouldn't feel that way for their little sister i'm like yeah you're damn right a brother shouldn't feel that way for their fucking sister you you fucking perv sister's all you Uh, need man no fuck that show too it's all about citrus one love (laughs) (laughs) um (laughs) anyways was it the only thing that you said that you would give props to for the show were the backgrounds, right? I liked a lot of the settings and the set pieces. I think that they did a really good job at kind of making it feel like there are these interesting locations. Um, And that was essentially it. Uh, They also had some cool like crime show kind of like shots, Uh, Mm -hmm. some unique, unique camera work. That sometimes I was way into, and other times they were going wacky, and I hated. So, eh. <laughs> that's that's yeah. all the props that I'll give to the show, though. Uh, very very cool set pieces at certain moments, which again was similar to season one. You had uh, some really rad scenes where there was some kick ass skateboarding type stuff, and then there was also like a beautiful uh fight on top of on, w- water, on top of water where there are a bunch yeah. of little like candles it was awesome and that was all in slow motion because they're yeah, super yeah, yeah. fast so it like yeah it's the whole thing um the only thing i, I think i like i liked of the show this season was the english voice actors i was sure. like oh i recognize that guy's voice oh he's doing a good job look at him act it up um besides that the show's ass mm-hmm. like I hate when people when they don't put enough effort into like moving the mouth for when they're talking. It's I, when it's just like the the fucking um, Canadians from South Park up and down. It just drives me nuts. Yeah, and man. and like there was a, there was several fights in this show, but none of them I feel like stand out. Like even at the very end, um, our main. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that was the one fight that did stand out because I was like, huh, it's like Zelda. <laughs> that was it. At the, at the very end, our main character gets confronted by like the leader of the his surviving friends who are like now kind of bad guys or whatever. And he's just like talking to him, and he's just like our main character's not saying shit. And he's like, "Hey, man, you should join us. We could do all this stuff." Yada yada yada. And our main character doesn't say shit, and then he goes, "Uh, I I guess I'm just talking on deaf ears." And you you made up your mind from the very beginning. Our main character's like, "Yep, we're gonna fight," and then they fucking fight. And it's just so fucking, I don't know, it's so uninspired. Their fight is it so really fucking is. boring. And, and it, it ends there. Like, it ends, like, on this cliffhanger. And I was mm-hmm. like, fucking cool. This feels like half of a season, you know? This feels like, cool, there's six more episodes out there. Only yeah. for you to inform me that, no, this is it. There's This is all there is to it. That's all there is. Yeah, and we had a discussion slash argument about it, too. And that's kind of what this show is, man. It, it just fucking ended. It had a mm-hmm. full season, which story uh, kind of continues into nothing. So, mm-hmm. the first half, I don't know, fucking messy bullshit. The second half, pretty cohesive, easy to follow what's going on. And uh, mm-hmm. a very clear line of 
the different plot points that we were going to see. We got to see them all. It wrapped up. Essentially, the detective is saved. And then uh, our main character faces, yeah, that leader and has a big fight. And it's, it's like it's done. Yeah. And he doesn't even like I, he wins, but he doesn't even like win. We don't see him win. It, yeah. it, and it's it's more it's more like it feels like like this is like. How, like, I feel like there is there would be more essentially because he left his B trademark after killing somebody, you know, and they're like there's like fucking chatter on like the tv like who is be the you know killer b he's out there and he's just like okay cool he, there's some sort of agenda and it sounds like he's like talking to him like like the bad guy's like i guess we're gonna do this dance uh, where we kind of fight back and forth and i was just like i hope not because i'm bored of shit um i would like so to I'm, wrap I'm this show done. up with uh one scene in particular that i think is very strong uh for an argument of why you should avoid the show is it the car scene? <laughs> it no. Well, it's right after that, I guess. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, then... To where there was a whole car chase thing, and then because of the way that everything happened, our favorite character, the girl, gets arrested. She is an investigator. Mm-hmm. She's a part of this whole force, and she has a, a specific badge and stuff. But she gets arrested, and she's like, "Ugh, I'm arrested." And then her boss comes up, and he goes, "Hey, cops, uh, you don't need to arrest her. She's with us. She's totally fine." They go. No, she's not. She's arrested. And then she goes, oh, man, I guess I'm arrested. And her boss goes, where's your badge? She says, in my pocket. So he grabs it out of her pocket and shows the cop and goes, here's her badge. And the cop goes, that's fine. And within, like, she was in handcuffs for, like, ten seconds, and then they take it off. All they had to do was check her fucking badge. Fuck, they yeah. clearly didn't even pat her down or anything. If they she's re- being arrested, are you fucking rights. kidding me? All of it no. was just stupid as fuck. The fact that she is a very clear investigator, the boss of this whole team comes up and is like, hey, she's with us. And then the cops don't do anything. Nah. It was just yeah, so yeah. fucking stupid. No, I the scene it. that killed me, the scene that killed me was, it was before that. It was like the, when they're driving to find the four different towers or whatever, and she's going with the king of the fucking country. Uh-huh. So she's like driving in her tiny car and she says... Uh, this is taking so long. And he's like, do you mind if I take a shortcut? And she, he goes, yeah, sure. So she goes, she swerves down this alley. And like, that was really fucking narrow. She's like, like, you know, like those Indian cars were like, no, this is like the Italian job is what this exactly. was. Yeah. And but, it takes but, place in Italy. So I think that was a reference. But I'm, what I'm saying is like, I've seen like, there's videos of people who drive like these cars in India and they'll be driving down tarmats and uh-huh. they kind of, they lean their car over on their two wheels or whatever. And I was just like, oh, it's so fucking dumb. They, go up a level and they she is now completely fucking horizontal and both her all four tires are up against the wall driving which is physically impossible and i lost my shit i was like this is no i will give you a man with wings and a giant eye and a sword for an hand and people getting shot and not dying because they can regenerate but that's not how physics work i don't give a fuck she's the comedic relief character juan you gotta let her do it even if she's uh, magic. her comedic relief is completely inappropriate for the show and the universe that it's in, yeah. she's going to do it. So don't worry. She, Both of those scenes her that we show. explained were comedic scenes, but they were, both trash. they were just put in right after some like serious story bullshit. And yeah, I don't know, man. The, the tone stays serious while also making those jokes. So mm-hmm. while it would be dry humor, it just feels like very out of place. Uh, if it was more more calm, matter of fact thing, it would be fine. But it just feels like it's this outlandish comedy that everyone just seems to deal with and not think is fucking insane. I don't know. Yeah, it feels weird. They want the show to be grounded in reality, but then they take us away from it. Fuck this show. Never watching it again. See you guys next week when we actually talk about something we want to watch, which is the Dota anime. <laughs> That was uh that was officially fifteen minutes on the dot, by the way. Yeah, I, I uh, felt it. <laughs> we nailed it. That's fifteen minutes. I told Trip I wouldn't let him talk more than fifteen minutes. Um Yeah, that's it. Fuck this show. Don't watch it. Don't watch be the beginning of season one, don't watch be the beginning of season two. Um that's it. Oh, yeah, shout outs doing... to the intro for not changing either. <laughs> I just <laughs> shout outs for the outro sucking ass too. They stopped showing it, it was so bad. Um <laughs> yeah. 
I was going to say. Um, yeah, so the Dota, the Dota anime comes out on Netflix. It's done by the same studio that does Voltron and some of um, Avatar The Last Airbender, Legend of Korra. I think they also did the regular Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm not completely sure. But they're a dope South Korean studio, and I'm actually interested to watch this Dota thing. I don't know much about the Dota lore. Um, yeah, it doesn't I matter. You, I, play, I, I played one time. I was like, huh, this is not my kind of game. I don't get it. But yeah, we're going to be checking that out. I think that comes out uh, tomorrow, which is today, the day the pod- this podcast airs. So check it out on Netflix. Um, that's it, man. Um, and then fucking, I don't know, if, if you were here before we started recording the pod, we actually have like the next six weeks planned out. Like right for the first time, we're like, and next week we'll do that. And the week after that, we'll do this. And it's like really in a stupid way exciting. So it's pretty cool. Hold on to your fucking butts. Um, so yeah, the if you like our theme song, you should check out Tom Master. Oh, fuck, his goes by his name is not Mars on Spotify. It's uh, true. Trip, where can we find us? You can find us on Facebook. Look up the Instagram podcast. Same thing goes for Instagram. Look up the Instagram podcast. You could send us a tweet at Instant Ramen Pod. Podcast didn't fit. You can shoot us an email, instantramenpodcast at gmail.com. And we do stream every week. I mean, sometimes we don't, you know, when there's like a guest host or something like that or some weird whatever. Uh, but yeah. it's twitch.tv forward slash Chris Uh Thank you guys very much for sticking with us while we bitched about a show that we didn't care about a couple of times <laughs> and talked about some other cool things in between. <laughs> Yeah, ho- hopefully you enjoyed us talking about ourselves more than the 15 minutes of us bitching about Be the Beginning Season 2. I just which, like by listening way, to your ass. voice, man. It was nice. It's nice talking to you. But honestly, you're tired. I'm tired. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. here. Let's get the fuck out of here. This is bye from Juan. Get the fuck out of here from Chris. <laughs> hey, Trip, don't forget. Just add hot water. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> get the fuck out. That's pretty good.